Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're on location at Rec Bar 812, reviewing Stars by Stern Pinball today. Please look for a written review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media format. Subscribe now. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, over Stolid State. Flipper gap is not too bad on this thing. Has a stop bag to the back. Traditional layout, left, left in lane, right in lane, right exit lane, left exit lane. Slings to the center. Targets which are special when lit, 500 in advance on both sides. Drop targets to the left side, which 7,000 when lit. You have a spinner with a lane that goes around your pop bumper to the top right. Drop targets to the center, pop bumper to the back with the target to the right of the, that pop bumper. And the lane that goes all the way around to your top again to the right, which says spinner scores 200 and it's lit up different colors for the stars. We are on location, as you notice, that pop bumper did not engage at that point. Your bonuses are to the front of the play field, which is double, triple, and then you have shoot again. And then of course your ultimate go is to work your way up. You have a thousand to 10,000 based upon what your engagement of this table is. So now we're up to 3,000. And you can get even a 3,000 bonus advance when lit from your exit lanes when they are lit. And so even if you go out on this game, you're gonna get 3,000 points to the right or the left at this point. It's a banger and a clanger is what we like to call it. There is no soundtrack. There is no theme music. It is like a slot machine. And uh, some of these older games are really good. This one actually has quite a bit of flow to it. It's open to the middle. It's got a lot of flow to the back of the game. Theme is what you expect. Stars from Stern. Good looking game. Back glass looks good. Replayability on this for it being a bang and a clanger is actually pretty good. It's got quite a bit of flow. Not a whole lot of stuff to shoot at. It's very simple, but that's why it's so good. It's simple, but in a good way. Whereas like Millionaire, for instance, it has a lot to shoot at and definitely delivers across the board. Replayability on this is actually there. This is more of a on-site play versus a home use only play, of course. What the rate fun factor on this? We got our pop bumper working to the top back again now that it's engaged. Nothing like a stop peg where you can just save the ball, but we'll get 3,000 in advance when that is lit for exiting out. So yeah, gameplay is, is not bad. Replayability is there. It's actually not a bad game. All in all, we would rate this a 8.6 for its time period and what it's worth. 8.6 is what we're sticking to. Anyway, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off. Until next time, thank you again for watching today.